I'm Aaron Richard, and today, I'm the face of America. Hi, my name is Aaron Richard. I used to be known around the internet as the gay stoner for creating popular education style content of, about cannabis on YouTube until they deleted my channel in February of 2018 and hundreds of other content creators as well. And in response, we all got together and started our own website, theweedtube.com, which I am the co-founder and CEO of. I was born and raised in Denver, Colorado. Uh, I grew up in a very conservative Lutheran family. Um, went to Lutheran school, preschool through eighth grade, and uh, went to college at the University of Northern Colorado for a year for opera singing, and then left because I wasn't getting enough done in the time that I was at school. I think that people consume cannabis not to remove pain, of course some people do, and not to eliminate the harshness of life, but I would say, for me personally, to truly live my life. It's quite unfortunate that the legalization process has to take almost this gentrification route, I would almost say, to where in order for it to become legalized, you have to have all of the, the money to get the permits and all of the power to do everything that you need to do that maybe minorities don't have the proper access to. And it is really an unfortunate thing. I, I, I personally am currently and would like to continue in my life to do everything I can to empower uh, minority communities to be the people who are in the cannabis industry. Uh, as a gay man myself, uh, I, I believe that minorities are the ones who deserve to have the cannabis industry and move it the right way to avoid it becoming a money-hungry style industry that it shouldn't be. You know what's interesting is I uh, don't know that I've heard anything specific about a Democratic candidate coming out specifically pro full legalization, but our current president did say that he would do that and has not made a lot of effort towards doing that at all. Donald, if you're watching. I don't consider cannabis to be a drug. A lot of people that are in the cannabis community consider it to be a plant. Um, similar to, uh, which, you know, a lot of people are advocating these days for the declassification of cannabis as a drug, right? Um, but the effects of it that it does have on you are euphoric happiness. It's almost like, the way I describe it is there's a pulse to the world around you and a lot of people are born knowing that that pulse is there and then they forget it as we all grow up and learn to interpret what society wants us to live as. And consuming cannabis kind of gets you in touch with that pulse of the world, of all the people in the world, of the happiness and the beauty and the art and the joy. Um, you'll never meet a bad person who smokes weed, you know what I mean? They're all very loving, open-minded, good-hearted people. The whole way of this process with the weed tube, our community has just grown by conversation of what's happening to us and um, people are really coming together and I just think it's a, uh, you know, the cannabis community kind of needs to synergize together in this moment because with things like you're talking about the election coming up in 2020, uh, America faces a lot of big things that we need to decide for our future. And I think that the cannabis community, this open-minded, this loving community, really needs to play a bigger part together in all of that. And especially in making sure that our voices aren't silenced towards advocating for legal, at the very least medical cannabis. And uh, I'm also personally an advocate of recreational cannabis as well. Um, if we're gonna be selling liquor out there on the streets and people can drink themselves to death, then we should be allowing equal access to a plant that is perfectly wonderful, gives euphoric uh, responses, and is not going to kill you no matter how much of it you consume.